Hey guys, welcome back. We're Kendall and Glenn and we are traveling all around Australia in our van, Vance. We're currently in Byron Bay uh, while Vance is in the mechanic for some preventative maintenance that we booked back in November last year. This is sort of like the one month mark. So hopefully we can provide either some inspiration or insight into what van life is really like, um, at least a one month in, because we've definitely experienced a lot, a, lot. Of, a lot of ups and downs, <laughs> to say the least. So we'll take you through that all. All that. We'll take that all. <laughs> we'll take you that all. The first thing that we noticed that was really helpful was the importance of having a routine. And for us, that is coffee. coffee. <laughs> We found this sort of routine to be really helpful when it comes to starting our day right and actually just sort of getting out and getting into it. Uh, I feel like sometimes it might be a bit easy to just sort of stay in bed after all. Your home is basically a bed and it's comfy and you just want to hang out there. But most of the days we try and start the same, particularly if it's good weather. We'll love to wake up before the sun rises, have a look outside and see what we can do with the day. So normally that'll start with trying to find some sort of beautiful secluded beach where we can and watch the sunrise. And having that morning routine actually allowed us to see some pretty epic things. So some mornings were like that, and then other mornings were kind of like this. Within the first week, we had our first major, major challenge, which was Vance breaking down and not starting. <laughs> One week in and Vance doesn't start. And we're like, really? Yeah. Really? After having him for over a year and not having one problem with him, he <laughs> wouldn't start. Called the NRMA out and it led to us having to overnight out the front of an NRMA mechanics while they ordered the part in. While we had some uh, very low lows, we also had some pretty high highs. One of the things that we did learn pretty quickly on the road is that you really need to improvise. So if the beach was ever blown out from the wind and kind of thought, oh, well, that's just a bad day. Can't really do anything about that. We thought, wait, no, let's go inland.
were finally getting in the swing of things. Everything was running very smoothly after the mechanics. We had some pretty amazing days. And then the rain came. Day after day of rain. knew that it would be tough it's a lot of hard work living in a van a tiny van tiny a tiny van. old van with two people <laughs> we knew it was going to be tough but the weather just made it so much more difficult the odd the odd storm here and there which is pretty normal yeah. uh we we're very much ready for you know you can weather a storm out overnight or if you have one dreary day you can figure it out but the fact that it was torrential well i think we were about 13 or 14 consecutive days in with flash flooding in the whole area um, it makes all the things that are like kind of hard to adjust to like camping in different places and and figuring out where you're going to shower and things like that almost 10 times harder particularly with vans being so small it's not like we can just hang out it's and you know if you get really wet it's like hop in you just make everything wet yeah so the normal things that take acclimatizing to van life we were just getting in the swing of with the nice weather which was really good getting everything all sorted and then with weather like this it's just made things a million times harder another expectation that at least i had was that it might be kind of difficult living together in such a small space but it's actually been way easier yeah way easier than we thought because we're pretty much always on top of each other in each other's way yeah. or something but it's been amazing yeah it's been pretty good but all in all i think as long as you just talk to each other it becomes pretty <laughs> easy i mean it's not that hard to communicate <laughs> i thought we might get sick of each other but we're doing pretty well yeah we're only a month in now. <laughs> yeah, talk to us in two months. Um, another impression as well, or another f tip, I guess. Grocery stores are far more enjoyable when you have nowhere else to go. I tell you what, we have spent so many hours in grocery stores <laughs> looking at specials. I reckon we got the best buys there was to ha be had at any grocery store. We had so much time to kill that we walked in <laughs> and we're like, okay. What is the best deal that we can get on anything? So that just about wraps up what our first impressions are within the first month or so. It certainly hasn't been smooth, but it's still been really, really fun. I think now we're going to have the rest of the week in Byron. Hopefully it's all good news with Vance and we can get him in the next couple of days. And then we'll just keep on trickling up north, seeing how we go. So this is just a little snapshot that we wanted to give you guys of our first impressions. But moving forward, we just sort of want to be doing ideally weekly stuff, just documenting our travels as best we can. We're totally open to ideas, but we just want to sort of showcase Australia, showcase what living in a van's life as a, is as a couple, um, and just document as much as we can for you to see. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you right away. See you next time.